Hi everyone, welcome to Pacemaker Divers, thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified any time when I do any videos for you guys. Quite honestly, I've got to fit it in, obviously, with my work career, so if you the same the channel for you, I'm sorry. Because I've realised I've lost two subscribers since my last upload, and I, I, I'm sorry if I can't do day in, day out content like most YouTubers can. And fit it around their schedule because obviously I work mostly evenings and obviously that's the best time to do it and quite honestly I can't do it all the time I only have to do it on my days off I can't stress enough I'm sorry if you're expecting more and more content I'm not moaning or anything it's just staying a fact to you guys because of losing a sub two subscribers or one subscriber since my last upload so I do apologize about that but obviously the same the channel for you if you don't expect that, uh, accept that. Um, uh, I shared once in the past my unboxings towards quote unquote professional wrestling Blu rays as a uh, mail order. I'm still waiting for the mail order from the United States. I'm hoping it comes, quite honestly. Um, apparently, it was shipped out. So. You know how sometimes some things take a while to come from the United States. It's not in maybe the seller or maybe not the seller. I don't know yet. So, ugh. but someone said on one of my videos they would love to see my autograph collection of the professional wrestling world. To say I've been saying that I've met over 200 wrestlers. One thing I cannot show you. I do apologize. Well, technically two things. Well, three things, in fact. My encyclopedia, because I'm not trusting the spine on this anymore. It's seen better days, put it that way. Um, I can't show you th technically three items. Is the framed ones, the custom plates, because I kind of broke the glass on them. And I don't want to cut my hands to bits. At some point, I will be starting making plaques again. The ones that I can't show you is uh, the autograph from Paige. Um, who else did I do? Sting and Roddy Roddy Piper. I cannot show you those autographs, but you can take my word for it. And then another thing I can't show you is my signed posters because I can't, because of me changing my room around and sorting it out. Well, sorting it out on my days off. Um. Quite honestly, that I can't show you them, so I do apologise about that. But obviously, I can just show you Miss Eight Pretends that I'm planning to get framed at some point, and it's gonna do my head in when I for love of wrestling. So it's gonna add more time to get everything framed. So enough of all that. Quite honestly, let's get on with the video, shall we? Um, thank you ever so much for tuning in, as always. Anyway. But, let's have a look. I'm going to be putting some in there. This, because I've got Charlotte Flair. Sorry about the glare. <laughs> Poet didn't even know it. Demolition when I met them at London from Comic Con. Oh, yeah, I met Charlotte at Toys R Us signing. The vlog is on my Daily Motion account for that one. I think that vlog is still on there. That survived when I met Christian. When I met Shawn Michaels. He had to sign there. I would have loved if he did it in gold or silver up there. When I went for Inside the Ropes, that one. I'll tell you where I am. London Film Comic Con. Christian's signature's there. Oh, yeah. My photograph with Billy Guns in there. Oh yeah, my photo with Ric Flair, then obviously when I met Jet from Gladiators and Shadow, if I remember his name. My Jeff Jarrett signature's there. When I met AJ Styles. Vlog is on my daily motion account for that. Bear with me, guys. I've kept me independent ones trying to be separate, but now he's AAW, Pentagon Jr. Uh, 
Christopher Daniels. Don't know why he signed black on. I don't know what's with people signing, thinking black looks good. Because at least one thing, the young books had sense after the second go because they had a slight power cut mid signing and didn't realise they picked up a black sharpie. But they replaced it with um white one, which looks good. Adam Cole, look where he is now. That was when he was in ROH. Even to Guerrero. Some some of these I want to get replacements for of at some point in the near distant future. Um, so Calvell, sorry if I'm holding a weird angle. Corey Man, Christopher Saban, and obviously some independent guys. Getting that replaced up for love of wrestling. Don't like it on a piece of paper. Uh, Hurricane. Really didn't like the promoter for doing, making me do that. X Pack. New Hall of Famer this year. Which going in. Tatonka. I'm hoping one day I'll replace a lot of those paper ones. Because it's shite. At least one thing at, uh, for love of wrestling, I'm getting my own stuff signed. God, these are collecting dogs. That's how long they've been on here. Um, got it covered. AJ Lee. This is when I started to make plaques. This is how organised I was. I was putting stuff where you shouldn't be putting stuff, if you know what I mean. God, it's so dusty. <laughs> I need to put them up that unit, but it will get dusty again. It was on top of the other unit with my British uh, co comedy DVDs when they were all mixed up. It was on top of there. That's where I put them, out of the way. Uh, Rey Mysterio, you just can see it because it's a gold sharpie, it doesn't even catch it that well on it. It's one of those awkward images. Uh, Fred Ottoman, aka Tugboat, um, wrestling fans will know who he is anyway. TDP. I think it was um, William who asked me to do this video, I'm not always that sure. Um, Cody Rhodes, sorry Cody, I mean just Cody, I can't say his surname. New photos one side. Film star now. Of Magic Mike, Magic Mike XL, Kevin Nash. He's been in other films, that's the only films that came to mind straight away mentioning that. Um, Wade Barrett. I actually love this version of Wade Barrett, to be honest. And, the, and when they gave him King Barrett, that was just pointless. Bad news, Barrett. He was going places. But then they released him. That sucks. Amy Dumas. AKA Lita. Mick Foley. It's not faded, it's just the way the sun is going down. I can't believe how nice it's been today. And I've been asleep and I woke up to nice weather. The only reason why I got this signed, one, is when I first ever seen him wrestle in Nottingham. Two, is it was his singles run, so I thought I can't get his tag team partner on it. Yet. Unless for love of wrestling gets him for this year or next year. Is Bubba Ray Dudley, aka Bully Ray. At least one thing he signed it, Bully Ray, which is a good thing. Gail Kim, bear with. Oh yeah, I did get a replacement. Sean Walkman sent me it. I remember now. Um, Household Jim Duggan. One of the best markers that anyone's used. He, he had sent. X-Pac. A.K.A. Sean Walkman. I was just mess, uh, talking about. 
So the only uh, member out of DX I've not met is, well, two of them, Road Dog and Triple H. One day. Don't know when it's going to happen, but one day. Um, like I was saying, X Pack. Jim Ross. Jim Cornet. He had a nice gold sharpie. At least he had sense. I like his signature how it came out on that. It looks better in person. A lot of collectors will say a lot of things are better in person. Bobby Heenan. About a year, year or two before he passed away. I was devastated when he passed away. Same with Roddy Piper. I just get emotional. I'm emotional right when it... it I grew up watching him. It's like me, extended family. You, you would understand if you understand professional wrestling. God, I can't itch. I need a shave. Um, Matt Hardy. Why the hell did he put... I was hoping he put V1. You know, not his fucking woken gimmick, broken gimmick at the time. Some of these vlogs are on my channel. Obviously, Becky Lynch. But... That's what I mean, it's just like, f confuses me sometimes. Just think how many vlogs I've lost if you can't find the person that I've got signed on Daily Motion. That's why I lost them when they were originally on YouTube. I'm hoping to put For Love of Wrestling on my uh, wrestling channel down in the description below on YouTube. Because obviously I've got uh, wrestlingwithwrestling.com support me on that. Um, John Morrison. But I love how there, the when he signed it, he signed all his gimmicks. That is that Johnny Mundo, etc. I'm moving my photo up separate. I wanted to do that before, but I forgot I put them with that. That's why. Billy Gunn. Signs it Gabin. Gabin. My name's Gabin. I messaged him on Facebook afterwards and he was like, sorry about it, no, I misheard you because how loud everyone was. Which I can understand. I let him off. He's famous. He's bigger than me. Three McAdee. I don't know what they're doing with him in WWE at the moment. I mean when I've literally seen what they're doing. Don't ask me why. But, uh, Victoria, a.k.a. Terror, started to sign it in silver. Her sharpie started to play up. So, a piece of blue. You can hardly see it. On camera, though. When I mention about the day when we... Uh, I thought I'd show you this. This is what I meant if you haven't gone over to watch the vlog. If, if you watch my blue uh, DVD sitcom collection. Is it the American sitcom? Sorry. That's why I look like this. It's ironic. My hair's pretty much the same. <laughs> but you would understand what I meant by that. Believe you me, I was petrified in that photo. I had to show you that one. If you haven't seen the vlog, it's on my Daily Motion account. Rick Flair. Bear with. I'm just moving some photos that I've got to put in between. I need to get more photos printed. My photo ops, I mean. Um, Razor Ramon. Rides like a five year old, but still, man. Paul Heyman. Edge. I've met them both at uh, separate times. That's why they've signed a, signed a singles run picture. Because if I met them at the same time, it would have been on an Edge and Christian picture. Honky Tonk Man, Eric Bischoff, I 
Rob Van Dam. Just think how many packs I want to make. Every single one of these that you see in. Um, Tommy Dreamer. Sabu. Bailey. When I met her at the hotel. Some of, some of them I met at the hotel as well. Which is quite fortunate to have. Beth Phoenix. Love that woman. Absolutely love that woman. She was so nice. She remembered me from a signing that was arranged in my city. Uh, Chris Jericho. I didn't buy this, by the way. I actually met him. The vlog's on my Daily Motion account. You need to see them if you're into vlogs. Because I worked so hard on them. Um, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Goldberg. Kurt Angle. Brave Man Hart. Melina. Slowly getting there, guys. Raven. I just I had a brain fart then. Sorry. I thought something was going off outside. Kevin Nash signed my meet and greet with him. I'll show you another real one. Me with Leah. I was starstruck. How beautiful she is in person. You know, she was beautiful back in the day. But still looks great. But, yeah, that's my autograph collection. Obviously, I can't show you my encyclopedia because I don't trust the spine on it anymore. Um, my posters I couldn't show you because I've put them somewhere safe. And I can't remember where I put them. Put it that way. Um, obviously, the free uh, pitch that I mentioned that I can't show you. But at some point, I will show you when I get replacement frames for them. But you just imagine those frames... When I actually get around to making them again, you know, I hopefully, but Blu rays took over my passion for a bit. Not of professional wrestling, that will never leave me. But seriously, guys, thank you ever so much for the people that have hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. Don't forget you'll be notified anytime when I do any videos for you guys. I thought I would include this on my collection video because I've been telling people that I've met a load of wrestlers in the past. Now you can sort of believe me. Obviously, I would love to put a video collage of all the photographs that I've met people to wrestling related things. But I thought I would show you this. And obviously, I'll probably show you my pickups towards, if I pick up anything towards, for love of wrestling. Possibly um, on the 30th of April or maybe afterwards. You know, because obviously, I, I give me myself that time scale to edit the vlog it might be a long one because obviously i'm covering it three days the day before day one day two and then when i get back at least one thing i got two days off afterwards because i booked five days off to give myself t to recuperate and to edit a vlog i'm deciding what music to put into it that are copyrighted free obviously for obvious reasons but things that comes to mind is Beatles covers you know that's the only thing that comes to mind at the moment I know it's stereotypical for Liverpool but it's how it goes but anyway guys until next time guys catch you guys soon on another edition of Pacemaker Diaries here exclusively on this channel thanks guys for tuning in catch you guys soon